Rock Hill, can you hear me? No, no, Rock Hill, South Carolina, can you hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever bare knuckle fight card in the history of the state of beautiful South Carolina! BYB 14 is live on Combat Cast TV. It is sanctioned tonight by the South Carolina Athletic Commission, by the Honorable Edwin M. Estridge, the Honorable Dr. Paul Kenimore, the Honorable Dr. John Lucas, the Honorable Dr. Garrett Messer, and the Honorable Coleman Bates. Our judges at Trigon side tonight, Troy Stammy, Pedro Claudia, and Incam Udiaga. We have nine bouts on the card this evening, culminating in our interim super middleweight championship contest. But we begin with our first fight in the Trigon, scheduled for five three-minute rounds in the super featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Kendall Ward. Kendall the Lion Ward, born in St. Mary's, Jamaica. Moved to Colorado Springs at age eight. He said, yeah, I did get to check out the Olympic Training Center from Colorado Springs to Portland, to Boise, Idaho, to the Trigon. Paulie, this man defines tenacity. Oh, and 10 as a professional boxer, but he kept coming back, he kept coming back, and now he said, I've been through that, now it's time to turn the page, start a new book. Yeah, yeah, you know what, he, he gained valuable experience nonetheless, uh, despite the boxing record, and also, once you he gained that valuable experience, he may have messed up his boxing record, but he can take that skill set into something else like bare knuckle and start from scratch here, and now he's bringing that experience, bringing those skill sets, and you know what, he's been pretty good. I just want to add the fact that his motivation has never been doubted. Besides the record, he's also 3-0 in Muay Thai. Yes. So that shows us that it doesn't matter how bad it gets, he keeps coming back for more. He said, and I quote, I am here to show I definitely belong. His nickname, The Lion, he said, is all about his tenacity, his skill, his heart. And he also happens to be a Leo. He is Kendall, the Lion Ward. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Brandon Burr. Slaughterhouse Brandon Burr. All right, Brandon Burr, YL Watson, Claudia. Y.L. Watson, I said I said to Brandon in the fighter meetings, yeah, he kind of controlled, he goes, controlled? He beat the heck out of me for the first round and a half, and then boom, one big overhand right, and it was all over just like that. Goes to show Goldie, all it takes is one good punch. With the power that he possesses, Paulie, he said he feels like he's never really out of a fight. Well, you know what? He proved that. He was behind in that fight, and you know what? Just like that, it was all over, to quote my good buddy right here. <laughs> and you know what? Let's see if he keeps bringing that power tonight. Fighting in BYB is something that is very fun for him. He's here to break necks and cash checks. We talked about his last fight. He had just gotten married to his wife, Victoria. I asked him, did, did you give her a real honeymoon or did you hang out bare knuckle wise? He said, I had a cut on my head, but we went to Naples. She's been with me from the start. We had a good honeymoon. I said, good start, young man. He Brandon did pretty, Slaughterhouse. He made it yeah, absolutely. You got to <laughs> take her down a honeymoon. Brandon Slaughterhouse Burr. Big Bull. Ladies and gentlemen, this opening bout is scheduled for five three-minute rounds in the super featherweight division. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Bill Clancy. Let's meet the fighters. First, 
fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, five inches tall. He weighed in at 129.5 pounds. He is making his bare knuckle debut, and he fights out of Gretna, Virginia, by way of Boise, Idaho, introducing Kendall the Lion War. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at 129.5 pounds. He comes to us with an undefeated bare knuckle record of one victory versus no defeats. And he fights out of Cleveland, Ohio. Here is Brandon Slaughterhouse Burns. Set for the first of nine. Good. Kendall Ward. Good. good. Brandon Burr. Wayne, you good? Gentlemen, come to line. On my command, gentlemen. Fight! Here we go! Kendall Ward, red, gold, and green trunks, blue wraps. Slaughterhouse in the black trunks with the red wraps. Aggressive attack early by the Lion. Answered by Burr. He makes blood already. Here we go. We are officially underway, Polly. Oh, yeah. Brandon told us the cut he suffered in the fight with Lyle Watson. First time he's ever been cut in his combat career, including in training. Yep. And he said he was just going to let it heal. That needs to be looked at. Kendall Ward is already hurt. He's already cut on, over his left ear. Don't push him. Don't push him. Brandon Burr trains out of the strong style Jim Pauley in Cleveland, Ohio. Led, of course, by one of the greatest UFC heavyweights of all time, Stipe Miocic. Doctor will take a look at Ward. That, that was quick. Yeah, and then you know what? You're going to see a lot of cuts in this sport. So I think uh, that's why the fights are shorter, right? So yep. The guys can fight through some of the blood. We always would talk about those slicing elbows in MMA. Bare knuckles do the same type of damage. Oh, yeah. Bone on bone. Bone on bone. I mean, even the, even the, oh, nice right hand there. But I'm wondering if that was a headbutt or a clean punch over the left eye. I, he, they, he, I think he took a good right hand when he was up against the, the, the rope behind them. Early part of the round. Ward looking to employ the jab and some movement. Looks like he's getting more comfortable inside a much smaller surface than he is accustomed to as a professional boxer. And Paulie and Claudia, you guys have forgotten more about boxing than, than most of us in the world know, but I mean, Kendall said it right, boxing hasn't been kind of my career, but oftentimes it's about who has the money, what happened to letting the fighters fight, not stopping about when one fighter may be up, that will not happen here in the Trigon. That's the beauty of bare knuckle. Well, he gets that. He gets his option now. You know, he's he got this bad cub, but he's, he gets the opportunity to fight his way back into the fight. Let's see if he's able to do it. Yeah, but the, the, there's some oh. major swelling. Yeah. And he's still very aggressive and you, responding, but... Oh, and there's a big knot yes. now on top of the left eye. You, oh, can, yeah. you can hear the right hands Burr has landed. Yep. Burr has landed two or three right hands. That, and that's why I thought the, the blood did come from the punch, because it's been two or three right hands that you can hear the clapping sound when the bone-on-bone when the -bone collision happens uh, in this fight. And, and it's, they've been all landed from Burr. Ward has not been able to get out of the way of some of those right hands. Much better first round for Brandon Burr than he would definitely tell us he had against Y.L. Watson in his debut back in August. He did say he's been working on putting combinations together rather than just simply relying on those power punches. But much to Paulie's point, Claudia, when he lands, you can hear the power. Yes, and that's another thing that he worked on. Constant pressure, closing the gap, and making sure his stamina was up to par because he felt that first fight he was not prepared for that. He did not know he was walking into such an intense combat. Another right hand that you can hear from Burr. And he's doing a good job of, of measuring his shots and, and really understanding his range and distance. Good round for Brandon Burke.
see some of the replays from the last round. Some good action here. A little bit of an elbow there. I, might, I wonder if that was what may have opened the cut, as the cut is already kind of bleeding there. Uh, his burst slightly may have landed an elbow on Ward there. And then a little later in the round, but look there's at, a solid right ooh, hand. I mean, it is. Perfectly measured from Burr, really understanding his distance. You see Ward trying to get right back at him. Nice smother job by Burr. Not to let any leverage get onto those shots to return fire from Ward. But that's where where Burr has really been uh, uh, effective, is understanding his range, his distance, and really getting the maximum strength out of the right hands that he's able to leverage and throw. And using the ropes, and I gotta give a lot of credit to Kendall Ward because even though that's a nasty knot in the nasty cut, he doesn't seem to be inhibited in any way, shape, or form. Let's let's see if the doctor takes a second look. Let's see if, uh, looks like we're good to go. Round number two, fight scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Kendall Ward making his bare-knuckle debut. When I asked him about the pro boxing, that was a tough one on his record. He said, I'm a father. I tell my kids, no matter what you follow your dreams, you don't let anyone bring you down or tell you you cannot do it. Mm-hmm. And I think he's still very much in this fight he's been a pleasure to meet he's been bouncing around with a lot of enthusiasm and tenacity and he's in there against a very good fighter and brandon burr great way to get things started i tell you man burr has uh kendall ward looking like the the bad guy jamaican in uh, the movie uh, true romance i don't know if anybody's seen true romance but if you have let's put a guy's played by gary oldman <laughs> and, and he played a really good role and 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 ward looks a lot like him right now with this eye yeah, but this is a completely different Brandon Burr than that last time we saw him in the Trigon. So oh, I'm more big right hand again, Claudia. Effective, 100% effective. And I'll tell you what, you know, different kind of fight, too, because, you know, Ward is uh, a lot shorter than his previous opponent, who was a lot taller than him. Yes. So kind of a different kind of fight. Burr has fought a really disciplined fight, fought a really tactical fight. He's really, you know, and I know it's Ward that has the boxing experience, but it's, it's Burr who's been boxing very, very well in this fight and, and, and really setting up the shots well and understanding range well. And you know, see those little subtle feints. That left just landed. And again, Brandon's right boxing hands. is sharp. And Kendall Ward is down for the first time. Three, and it's leaking. You can see the blood leaking now. Yep. Six, and we just got splattered. Seven, Good job covering, Polly. Yep, that's what I, I, I got a little bit of experience on the inside. I can see that. <laughs> I know it's a spot from last show that I didn't get out of my shirt on the dog And here Peroxide. comes the doctor, and they stop the action. It is all over. Brandon Burr finishes Kendall Ward in round number two. His boxing coach, Alex Cooper, from Strong Style Gym, led, of course, by Marcus Marinelli. Back in Cleveland, Ohio. Brandon Burr, Paulie, looked like a completely different fighter. He was patient. He put together combinations and he was vicious with his power. Yeah, you know, Burr, the, the technical side of, of Brandon Burr tonight, you know, a nice, nice combination there, but really the technical side of Burr is, is the last time we saw the power that got him to escape a fight where he was behind, but here using the uppercuts, he got he got Ward to dip in and then meeting him with some uppercuts and then at the end, the, the, the Muay Thai hold the behind the neck and uh, that kept Ward in place for the repetition of shots. There it was. And then Ward just didn't know how to get out of that one at that point. And it was just repetitive until uh, referee Clancy steps in and uh, saves the day. I don't know if you agree with me, but this is a Brandon Burr, a lot more poised, controlled, and patient. He was not, he was not in a rush to get it done like he did that first time. That opened him up to be actually yeah. down. Yeah. Now he just waited for the opportunity to capitalize and took advantage of the cut. Absolutely. Well, last time he was in his on his honeymoon, so maybe it was a little bit distracted. True that. This time. Full focus. Nope. Yes. And while you Watson is, you know, eight feet tall. Here's Big Mo to make it official. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bill Clancy calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of the second round, declaring your winner by TKO, Brandon Slaughter. Trigon, 
Cleveland, Ohio's Brandon Burr. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined. Brandon, I gotta ask, first off, how's that right hand? I think you like that right overhand a little bit. You were landing it a lot tonight. Did you have a plan to use that right hand that much? I just put it out there as much as I can. It's gonna hurt somebody. You know, I mean, it's him, anybody. It's gonna hit him, the, my, the cameraman. I'm hitting somebody with that right hand. Like, I'll keep my distance then. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be on that list. Now, Brandon, after your last fight, you said that you started a little slow. You wanted to start fast this time. You did in the first round. Did you have an idea that you were gonna push the pace against your opponent? So I always push the pace when I'm when I'm fighting. My last fight, I might have been a little timid with the you know bare knuckle kind of new to me. I knew what I was getting into this fight, and I work my pressure all the time, and I like getting in people's faces, and I like punching people in the face. So this is just this is what I love doing, and that's how I was able to bring it out this fight. Well, I think you found your home now, Brandon. Your home home is Cleveland, Ohio. I'm sure you have a lot of fans watching tonight. Anything that you want to say to your friends and family? Uh, everybody, thank you for coming out. Thank you for uh, buying the pay-per-view. I just want to say I love my wife, Victoria Burr. She's done everything for me. I couldn't be here without her. So thank you, everybody, for the support. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner, Brent.